sure thing I always tell people is like, the one thing that you think about the most when you're sick is God. I wish I was healthy. Yeah. When you're when you're healthy, it just seems normal. It just is what it but is. But when you get sick, you're like, oh God, this yeah. sucks. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to get healthy. Yep. But you, when you're fucking healthy, yeah. you've got to like do whatever you can to preserve that and recognize that there's a possibility that you could get sick. Appreciate yes. the shit out of being healthy. Well, and then with work though, with comedy, I feel like there's this other side of the other side of the spectrum, which is that you should be willing to be very uncomfortable and very unhappy. To oh, do yeah. it right, because that's love. That's but real love. But you're doing it, yes, is you, my point. Yes. If you if it took it away from you, yeah. like COVID, when we couldn't do stand-up, oh, yeah. well, then that's you being sick. Yes, that's, that's what right. I'm saying. I mean, it's like, it, not that it should always be the most fun thing to do. No, the most no. part, Because exercise fucking blows. Yeah. Like, being healthy, yeah. like sitting in a fucking sauna for 25 minutes at 190 <laughs> degrees and cold plunges Stinks. and all this shit that I do, it sucks. Yeah. I don't like doing it, but I'm doing it because being healthy is far superior to being sick, yeah. but you forget. You forget sometimes. Well, but also it can be a really, uh, it can be um, a bummer to be healthy. It can be. How so? Well, I've had streaks where I'm like, I'm doing it all right, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm not doing things that I know make me feel like shit, like eating right. a bunch of pizza that's just going to flood me with yep. sugar and slow me down and give me a headache yep. and give me a depression that I end up curing with a cigarette and mm -hmm. then I can't move even more and then I eat more. And then it's a terrible thing. Yep. And like two weeks later, I come out of like a dungeon, like I got to stop. <laughs> like I can't believe I just wasted all that time. Right. But when I'm like, I'm doing it all right. I'm eating well, fucking salmon with brown rice, a little bit of vegetables, you know, or whatever. And uh, drinking water with lemon and staying away from, you know, drinks, no alcohol. Right. Sleeping without any help. All those good things, you know, there's a dryness to that. Like, I just, after a while, I just get cranky. I just feel like I want to uh, indulge and just yeah. get some sugar in you. And feel yeah, like moderation. Shit. Feeling like shit has its good points. You Indulgence know? has its good points. Yeah, when you feel like, you're like, oh, what the yeah. fuck did I do that for? There's a com When you hit the bottom, there's a comfort in that. It's a bed. The, com the bottom is like a bed. Do you know what I mean? I mean, yes. not like alcoholics and drug addicts. I don't know what it's like for them. But in my little self-abuses. Uh, Every now and then getting off the rails. You just got yeah. it. No, I like it. I like yeah. doing that too. Yeah. But I stay healthy. That's good. But I, I do go off. I mean, I will eat pizza and fucking yeah. spaghetti and ice cream. I'll go crazy. It's just the best thing but in the world. But then I just self-correct. I go, okay. Yeah. You know, and I feel so bad when it's over. When I eat like a giant, like a, a fucking big Italian sub yeah. and a, a, like a fucking 32-ounce Coca-Cola, I yeah. feel like hot dog shit. No, it's the worst. An hour and a half. No, and then ice cream, which is my favorite thing. Mm. I'm just, I'm just yeah. shit. It's just shitsville and I'm, it's burning hot shits for like a week. <laughs> I pay hard hard <laughs> for ice cream so i don't do it often but there is i don't know i don't think it'll ever not be i, I still stay in shape and some discipline for a stand-up and i've got this, this thing at the garden like to me that's like the big fight of my life that's right. the championship fight but when that's over and i take a year off i do part of me thinks i might just brando out i might <laughs> get really fucking big i don't know you might do a reverse bobby kelly yeah i don't know i don't know I hope not. Sometimes I'm able to be more healthy when I'm not performing because I go up state more yeah. and I get, I make my trail and I, you know, I do my, yeah, that's better exercise than a gym anyway. Yeah. I think it's important to be healthy, but I also think it's important to enjoy yourself. Yeah. And I think, you know, there's something about food pleasure, mouth pleasure from, you know, eating yeah. a, a, a big fucking bowl of rigatoni. It's great. It tastes great. It's just, you got to know what's happening. Like, I like drinking. I do. I enjoy drinking. I like, like, fucking tipping a few back with my friends. Yeah. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. I like doing a shot before I go on stage. I enjoy it. Mm. Yeah, but I, I know what I'm doing. Right. I, I know when it comes to the morning, I'm going to do everything I can to counteract that. Yeah, sure. I do everything I can with vitamins. I take IV vitamins and mm. drips, and I do all kinds of shit, but I keep it working right. But I also yeah, it's a funny use thing my to... body in a different way. Yeah. Like, you know, because of jiu-jitsu and right. martial arts, I'm, I'm, yeah. it's a vehicle for me. I, I'm using it. Well, we live weird lives, too, because most people can't, when we say things like, it's important to be healthy, but it's important to enjoy yourself. Most people even can't have that conversation. Right. Like, most of the population is just, is just fucking grinding. Just trying to live. They're just dragging their bodies across broken glass and trying to, like, hand off just enough to their kids and then fucking collapse yeah. in a heap of cancer. Yeah, they're just trying That's to pay most the life. Bills. They're just trying to pay the bills. Just stay one step ahead of the, the grave digger. Or only two and a half steps behind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's how most people live. Right. Like I was talking to my Blanche, my, my French pal, and I said, life is a zero-sum game. It's something I believe is a, a zero-sum game. A effort you put in and it comes back, but you, you end up at zero. Right. She said, well, for a lot of people, life is about a negative 500 
some game. <laughs> yeah. And, and it's true. Some people, everything they can possibly do, they end up so fucked. Yeah. Just fucked for good. And it's just life is fucked. Uh, and because of that, you have this attitude that life is fucked. So then that's a self-fulfilling prophecy. I, I guess. I mean, it's... Negative attitude. There's negative not people. much room for that kind of shit, though, for in most people's lives. But in America, compared to everybody else, we, we're really doing great. Yeah. So we can have these long conversations about what's the right way to think and what's, you know, what's the right way to live and all these many, many boutique things of here's how to feel better. Yeah. Because we're just kind of sitting around. We're just consumers. We're just consumers of the mm -hmm. rest of the world, so... I was watching this video where these guys were talking about Lex Friedman and Andrew Huberman were talking about uh, saunas and cold plunges and stuff yeah. like that and like the benefits of it. They're just they're two scientists. Yeah. They're, they're talking about the, the the provable benefits, heat shock proteins, cold shock proteins. And then I'm reading the comments mm. where some guy was like, yeah, well, you, you guys aren't talking about how much it costs to mm. buy a sauna. You're making it seem like it's all free. And like, like mm. what are you supposed to do? Like you every fucking thing. Like I'm sorry if you're broke. Oh no, you have but, the conversation for right. people that can live that way. Well, I mean, not just. But it's just fun. It's, it's, but it's not. Un, in, it's not impossible to achieve. We're not talking about yeah. buying a fucking Lamborghini. Yeah, but I'm not saying that there's something wrong with talking about that stuff because other people can't afford it. That's not at all what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that it's actually part of why people are miserable is because they're actually it's a ridiculous conversation. It's a ridic It's not like the way, the the Earth and the experience of like competing for food and oxygen and living in the, on Earth, you know, and living in society and just being a person. We've got to some altitude here where we're having some stupid conversations that are just, yeah. you know, should I do a cold plunger of sauna? Like, what the fuck is that? It's not that, like, it's not you should be ashamed because people can't afford it. I feel sorry for the guy in that conversation. It's like it's a ridiculous trying to find just the right balance because there's nothing really challenging you because you're not, you don't have any real problems and you're not, you're not on the earth. You're not standing on the earth anymore. You're in a, bu in a bubble where you sort of like, maybe I'll try this and maybe I'll just do protein now and I'll do, you know what I mean? It's... And you'll never find a balance because life does, that's not a normal life. That's not organic living. That's not living like a human being, you know. You don't have a choice because, I mean, but you have what a are you going to do? Be poor but you purpose? have a physical body. And if yeah. you have a physical body, there's things that are beneficial to your physical body. Sure. And if you choose to do those things, you'll have a better body. It'll work better. And if you choose not to do those things because you think they're ridiculous, or do you think, like, no, oh, that's just not that organic that living. That's not life. Yeah. This is, this is mm -hmm. not life. It is life. It's life. And people have invented shoes. The reason why they invented shoes is because rocks <laughs> will cut your feet. Yeah. So they figured out shoes. Shoes are right. better than no shoes, right? Uh -huh. Getting in a sauna and getting in a cold plunge is better for the physical body than not doing it. Yeah. It's the same thing. Lifting weights is better than not lifting weights because then you develop a strong body and don't lose your bone density. All true. Like, all these things are a part of life. You can just yeah. decide they're not organic. They're a organic. part of life when, you're, when you've removed yourself from the food chain and from real life. They become well, part of life. if you're not getting eaten by tigers, yes. That's right. Yeah, but yeah. like we already figured that out. So like as we move to yeah. becoming a multi species, saying. that's what I'm there's saying. There's a lot of things that you're going to figure out. Well, and I'll